Bring it on! Show me your true power! In this video we will compare the old and the new Winmax 2 running at 24 and 45 watt. As this test is meant to measure in-game performance, we will use those benchmarks which are built into games. The games I use and own are Shadow of War, Shadow of Mordor, Gears of War 5 and the Riftbreaker. All of those tests will be done on both units, the 6800U and the 7840U. I will do the tests running at the default 24W and at 45W. I have not applied the PTM7950 on my new Winmax 2, so this will also be a stress test for the cooling of the new unit. I have already tested the new unit running at 41W and it could sustain that easily, so I do not expect any thermal throttling on the new unit. The memory of both units is running at their maximum speed. The 6800U has 3GB of VRAM allocated and the new Winmax 2 has 8GB of VRAM allocated. The EPP is set to 60 and both units run their CPU and their GPU at their default frequency. I'm running Cyphrae's high performance EPP power profile and the Turbo Boost is set to efficient aggressive. The 6800U unit has only 16GB of RAM and that is why the VRAM is set to 3GB. The new unit has 33GB of RAM and that allowed me to set the VRAM to 8GB. With all the talking out of the way, let's start! Bon Kai.
attack. So what have we learned today? There are two important takeaways. First, depending on the game, the 6800U can come super close to the performance of the 7840U. However, there are games like Gears 5 where the 7840U is vastly superior. Still, for all of you 6800U owners out there, there is probably not much reason to get a new WinMax 2 if you are looking for maximal performance in docked mode. Second, and that is more important, is that the difference between 24W and 45W is quite small. So there is no need to be disappointed if your WinMax 2 cannot reach 50W. I'd say everything above 30W, even in docked mode, is super wasteful. One conclusion regarding the Win Mini is that there is absolutely no need to worry that its performance will be much worse than that of the WinMax 2. I am very confident that it will be able to handle 25 Watt quite well. As a result, the performance should be about as good as that of the WinMax 2. My verdict considering the tests from this video and those from the last video is as follows. The WinMax 2 refresh is great on the lower end, it can give you up to an hour more of playtime. On the high end, especially if you plan to use the device in docked mode or with an eGPU, the gap between both units shrinks. Also, the performance of the 7840U at 24W is great, and going beyond that might not provide much of a benefit. Next week, I will join Dragonbox and we will have a booth at the Gamescom. I got the message that the G1 arrived in time and just in a few days I will be able to test it. The exhibition will last 5 days and I plan to run the G1 every day for the whole day. So that will be a nice durability test for the device. If the G1 survives, I will take it with me and do a few tests for you. And that's it for today. I hope that was useful for you and that you enjoy your device no matter which version you own. See you next time. Bye bye.